With me, I've got young heavyweight prospect Naylor Ball. Naylor, firstly, great to meet you. Great to get you on the Channel of Champions. Thank you very much for having me, mate. My pleasure. Now, for those that haven't seen you box yet, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from the travelling community. I'm a heavyweight boxer. I've had three fights, three wins, signed under Frank Warren. New, new signing to Frank Warren Promotions, coming from a big heritage of boxing as well. Yep. Um, how, how, how exciting is it to, to be in this sort of heavyweight mix? Well, at the minute, the heavyweight his division is absolutely buzzing, so it's good to be in the mix with these other local heavyweights and coming up through the rankings as well. I know you've sparred some big heavyweights on the GB development squad, the likes of Daniel Dubois and uh, even young, young Nathan Gorman as well. Can you tell us about that experience? Yeah, listen, that sparring there was something you can't buy. It was the best of the best sparring worldwide, and it was just a good experience to get there while he was there. Everybody's talking about these guys at the moment. Are you excited that you can potentially gate crash the party and get yourself into the mix? That's it. Everything's potential in the future. Just got to take one step at a time and keep going. I've only had three fights. Hopefully, next 18 months, I'll make a statement. All the talk at the moment has been potentially Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and will the Gypsy King Tyson Fury make his return and come back to, to dominance? What, what are your thoughts on that whole situation? Well, I think at the moment, I don't think there's no one to beat the Gypsy King. I think Tyson Fury is just a, he's just a one-off. He's unbelievable. I sparred with Tyson, I sparred with Yui, and uh, when I was down there talking to him, he's a lovely fellow to talk to down to earth, and uh, he just is what he is, isn't he? He's just the Gypsy King. Do you think he'll come back as dominant as he once was when he dethroned Klitschko? I think he'll come back more dom dominant than ever, because he's come back to prove a point against all his haters. Mm. So hopefully, see him be recrowned. Got some big fights coming up here on the Channel of Champions. We've got Carl Frampton in action, Jamie Conlon fighting for, hit, fighting for his first crack at a world title and a chance to become world champion. What are your thoughts on Jamie, Jamie Conlon's chances of, of becoming world champion? Well, I think he's got the chances are in his favour. He's got his chance to prove himself now. Hopefully, good luck to him on the night and I hope he wins. Also, Billy Joe Saunders going out to defend his WBO world title against David Lemieux in Canada. Big chance for Billy Joe Saunders to really grab some headlines that night. What are your chances on Billy Joe? Well, I hope to God Billy Joe wins. I think, myself personally, he's going to do the job on the night, but it's this time to prove himself a real test to be the proper champion. What's Billy Joe Saunders' perception like within the travelling community? How do you guys sort of think about him and rate him as a fire? Well, the same as Billy Joe, Tyson Fury. For travellers, they've done absolutely unbelievable to get where they're at, to become world champion, the best of the best. What more can they prove? So a lot of talented amateur kids coming from the travelling community that sort of lose their way between the ages of sort of 16 and 18 and don't make that transition. And the likes of Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders and Huey Fury, even Nathan Gorman, do you think them guys are role models for the, the younger generation? That's it. The younger generation, they've got so many things that's taken their brain other ways, working and bits and pieces. The travelling community are men at a young age. So it's good to see that there's three, four, including myself, travelling people coming through have actually stuck to it. Tell us a little bit about your, your training. Tell us a little bit about your team behind, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, I've been with Johnny Edwards training at Guildford City since I've been an amateur. I've won national titles with Johnny Edwards on the England scene with Johnny Edwards. It's just, it, it works. So at the moment, we're all good. Who would you say is the best heavyweight boxer that you sparred so far? Who, who did you think, wow, that, that guy was just unbelievable? Gotta say it, Tyson Fury. He's just the best man I've sit, sparred with. That's the place to set gloves on. Out of all the people I sparred, I've sparred with Dillian White, Nathan Gorman, Huey Fury. Just, he's just unreal. He's just the skill set and what he's got and just come in the gym, not fit at all. Just come in, he just, just took his hand to it. What makes him so talented? What makes him better, than, in your opinion, than the other competitors? He's just got it mentally. Mentally, he just don't care. He comes in, he just does what he has to do. It's a job to him. It just turns his hand to it like anything.